Welcome back to the Darkness on the Edge of Town Paranormal Radio Show. I'm your host, Dave Schrader, co-host Tim Dennis sitting in the booth with me this evening, and our guest, Tim, Rochelle Sparrow. Yep. Now, this is the part that you raised an eyebrow to me on when we talked about having her on the show. I said, you know, she channels, bit, yeah. she channels JFK, uh-huh. which you and I are big JFK fans. Yeah. Not so much of the Oliver Stone movie, but of no. the man himself. Interesting yeah. guy. Yep. Any guy that can nail Marilyn Monroe in the in the White House, <laughs> he's got to be worth something, right? I guess. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I was interested in talking to him. We were, here we are, the anniversary. We talked last night, of course, with uh, Dr. Norm Sheely about the the power players, the 300, mm-hmm. and, and their involvement in Kennedy's death. And and uh, here we are tonight, the night after the anniversary of, of his death. And, Rochelle, you've got the ability to channel what you said with JFK, and we, we'd like to know if he's available to uh, share some wisdom and thoughts with us right now. Yes, he's here. Okay. Now, how does this work? I mean, do we have direct questions for, for him? Have or direct questions. You know, one thing, do we have direct questions for, for him? Or, direct questions. Uh, you know, one thing they love to know, I'm sure now that he's in the other side, he's across through the veil, you know, and I'm sure you probably get this question all the time, but it's new to us and our listeners, is uh, Mr. Kennedy, was there, was there more involvement than just one nut up in a book depository taking a shot at you? Okay, now... There, this may be in reference to what you just said, the, the, the 300. Okay, let's go into it. There was a group who was a group of individuals worldwide who relied upon, it feels like, banking, financial, that's the energy. I'm breaking out a, a trance to read the energy, to develop legalities, financial, international, to create a funding for their particular endeavors. I had a plan through a development of the World Bank to create equity between the country's leadership and to create legal breaking out of trance to read the energy, direction and laws and policy to develop an equal right to, feels like advocacy is the energy, and say into the direction of leadership for the bank in its entirety, the group did not agree, and I got Rockefeller at the end. Okay, so energy. so he believes then that that because of his his line of where he was going with the of his politics and policies and things that he was trying to implement, that that was actually the cause of his assassination. That is correct, because I was trying to create a financial and banking system that was connected to, it feels like, the United Nations, that would then create, it feels like, a justice system for financial loans and gains that would not require businesses to publicly gain financial control through corporate means on an individual basis. This would mean that war would become obsolete. The motivation behind war would then be dismantled. There were issues. I've got Vietnam as an energy. There were developments in pulling out of Vietnam and also in developing countries engaged in trying to read the energy. I want to say upcoming plans. Oh, okay, thank you. Instigation. Instigation for war, which was the group's idea and plan. Now I'm going to break here. Now, in the book, 
JFK is still alive. It's the channel book. He mentions the group over and over again. He does not give me the specific names. He does give me some energies at times. And I'm going to say Rockefeller is one, and I will also say that Bush is another. Okay, going back into channeling, that there were uh, problems with policy or the view of policies I was laying out as the energy, putting on the board as the energy. I want to say in making policy, I'm still writing the energy, regarding Vietnam, so that there was many leaks, leaks is the energy, in terms of the direction I was moving toward that people did not like it, felt threatened economically by my pursuit of justice. Now, they pulled it out. Okay, this is connections with different individuals. Oh, hold on just a second. That was reputable individuals. Um, okay, I'm going to say uh, mafia or individuals like the mafia is the energy. Did you know? Did you know then that you were? Did you feel that with the decisions that you're making, were you aware of the fact that that there was basically a hit put out on your life? We knew, and I don't know who we is. Okay, we knew there were threats. We knew. There were warnings from different individuals, some connected with a group who I was affiliated with. However, I decided and made a goal of continuing my particular plan because it was correct in the way I saw it was like financial gain from war being resolved. Another big question uh, that many people have had a huge curiosity about is the involvement in the death of Marilyn Monroe. Did the Kennedy family have anything to do with that death uh, to silence her from coming forward, or was it uh, was it just an untimely death for that celebrity? It is something I deeply regret in this regard, in that there were prompts from individuals, I'm going to say Peter Lawford is the energy, to continue drug abuse, to continue ingestion of drugs. There were prompts. We are not without blame. There was, I'm going to say, a support of, I just, I want to read the energy, a support of her taking drugs. We did not intervene when we could have, and it feels like, or should have, it is the energy, could have made an impact as energy in helpful manner. We chose not to saw her as threat, saw her as irresponsible in the energy, saw her as coming out is the energy and witnessing okay. That's the energy. I don't know what it means yet. It's not making sense to me. Witnessing her being flagrantly feels like loose in regards to information regarding us. I feel like he is talking about himself and Robert Kennedy. So that we chose to ignore her situation and it's almost like there was a unwritten, unspoken communication between them and Peter Lawford okay. to ingest the pills is 
Correct. All right. So there was a, not necessarily a, a magic bullet that was put into her, but it was the fact that they encouraged her to continue with the drug takings and and um, yeah. they did see her as a threat for coming forward, so that they didn't really step forward to try to help her get out of harm's way. That's correct. All right. Interesting stuff. Well, we've got uh, on the line with us Rochelle Smitterell. She is a trans medium channeler, and we're talking uh, talking about all kinds of things tonight. It's going to be really fast. We're going to have to take another break, and we're going to come back with about 10 more minutes left. We will have Rochelle back in the future, and we'll take your live as well so that you can uh, ask questions and try to communicate with uh, the other side as well. Stay tuned. If you want more information, go check out Rochelle's website at rochellespiro.com, R-O-C-H-E-L-L-E. S P A R R O W dot com for all information and to get personal reading. We'll be back with more and wrap up with our last segment as you're listening to the best in paranormal talk radio, Darkness Radio. 